Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Path Behind the Exit Ticket. Okay, here we go. This is lesson three. All right, write a story problem using C level that includes both integers negative 110 and 120. Okay, C level, vertical number line. So I'll be right back when I think of a story. Okay, so here's my story and I'm sticking to it. While on a camping trip, I brought my scuba gear with me and went scuba diving. I dove to depths of 110 feet below the surface. And when I was re and when I was returned to shore, when I was returned to shore, and when I returned to shore, let me hear that was. When I returned to shore, I climbed back up the hill where my camp was set up, which was an elevation of 120 feet above a sea level. Okay, so there's my story. So I went scuba diving and camping all in one. Fun weekend. So, number two, I wrote the story, that was one. Number two, what does zero represent in your story problem? So I'm going to put zero right here. And zero, so let me type that just a moment. Okay, so here's my answer. Zero in my story problem means the surface of the water or sea level. Okay. Three says choose an appropriate scale to graph both integers on the vertical number line. Now, let me explain this. This is probably where the problem occurred in class. How do I know which, num which numbers to put here and where is zero and all that? So I made a mistake by putting zero there. I'm going to explain to you how you can figure out your scale. I'm going to count how many tick marks there are, if you will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I have 25 tick marks. So I'm just going to do this off to the side here and make a little note here. This is just to help you decide how many marks each one is worth for your measure, your scale. So we're going from 120 positive to 110 negative. So from 120 to 0 is a distance of 120. And from 0 to negative 110 is a distance of 110. That's a total distance of 230. So if I look at this, I know that 25 will not go into 23, but 25 will go into 200 eight times, and then one more would be 9. 9 times 5 is 45. Carry the 4. 18 and 4 is 22. Subtract, and I get 5. Okay, so I had a remainder of five. So any any more, any less than nine, we wouldn't have enough marks. So I want to go just a little more. Well, obviously, to make things easy, we're going to count by tens. Okay, so that's how I figured out how to count by five or ten or whichever. So now I'm going to use my black marker for this, and I'm going to start at the highest level. I'm not going to, I don't want to go off the grid, so I'm going to start at 120, and I'm going to subtract ten each time. Much like a nine. So this is 90, 80, 70, 60. Okay. 90, 80, 70, 60. I love doing things twice. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. So here is my C level right here. Negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, negative 40, negative 50, negative 60, 70, 80, 90, negative 100, negative 110. And that is as far as I need to go, so I, it fits. Okay? And there's 120. So that's how we decide how to choose our scale. Divide the number of tick marks by your total distance, and what and pick the pick one number greater than the one that gave you a, a remainder. Okay, so it said choose an appropriate scale to graph the, both integers on the vertical number line. So now I'm going to plot those numbers. Here is 110 below, and here is 120 above. 
Number four, graph and label both points on the vertical number line. Okay. So this is going to be camp. And this is going to be my deepest dive. The deepest I went dive. Diving. Okay. There is lesson three's exit ticket. Hopefully this was helpful. See you later. Later.